Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this little corgi inspired plush. So many people have asked me or my channel to make dog inspired things. And to be honest, I've really sucked at making dog inspired things in the past because I just don't know how to draw dogs, paint dogs, make dogs. I don't know. They always end up looking like cats or other animals. But this one here I'm really proud of. So I made this little keyring plush today and it is just a little head of a corgi. And I actually think this one looks like a little dog. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that it does so i'm happy with it anyway if you want to see how i made this then just keep on watching so the first material i used was a piece of white felt you can buy felt for pretty much any craft store but i know in the uk you can get it in hobbycraft for about 50p a sheet and you're going to be using the smallest part of a sheet so this is going to work out really really inexpensive Anyway, what I went ahead and did was drew around a little circle like lid. So I had a circle shape and then made it a little bit fatter around the bottom half so that it was kind of like a squished oval. I then drew a little ear shape onto one of the sides and then to get it equal, what I did was just cut it out really loosely and folded it over so that I could kind of cut half out at the same time as cut out the other half. If that makes any sense at all, I just wanted a really symmetrical shape. I then put my shape down on another white piece of felt and just drew around it and and then cut that out without the ears on this piece because I didn't need the ears on the front. I then also cut out two kind of bits where I knew orange felt was going to be. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought this would help me out with my pattern. So I cut out the bits where I wanted the orange part to go. I again folded it on itself so that I could cut it out symmetrically and get both cuts kind of the same shape. going in with the orange felt this is just a scrap piece that I had left over in my kind of felt box in my room apparently I have a felt box um, I just went ahead and cut out a carve to make the orange part of the little corgi's face and then I cut the other curve as well so that it would like curve around the face so it was kind of like a rounded diamond shape I don't know how to explain that but you need two of these in total to make either side of the corgi's face to make the ears, I wanted them to be orange, so I just took another piece of orange felt and drew around the ears from the original piece that I cut. I then cut these out and in, in order to attach them, I just used some hot glue to hot glue them down and make them nice and flat. You don't have to make these flat if you don't want to, you can sew them and then stuff them, but I wanted them to kind of stick upwards, kind of like little corgi ears do, so that's what I went ahead and did. Next I went ahead with some white cotton and a needle and I just stitched all the way around the kind of face patches on a little corgi. I did actually just sew the inner kind of curve to begin with as when I sewed the outside, that was when I kind of sewed all the pieces together. So once I had the face patches attached, I then went ahead and popped the face part onto the backing part with the ears on. I then went ahead and stitched all the way around the outside of the face and once I got to the ears I basically just pretended like they weren't there and carried on my stitching just so that the face was nice and kind of secure. I left a good couple of centimeters clear down at the bottom to make way of little hole in order to stuff the shape with toy stuffing. This is going to be the easiest kind of time to stuff when you have just enough to stick your finger in there then the stuffing won't come back out. Once you have stuffed the shape very lightly, you'll then want to stitch up the closing. So I just carried on the stitch that I was using, you know, throughout the whole plush. You don't have to stitch this if you don't want to. I wanted to because I wanted to kind of make it look nice and handmade. But you can also use fabric glue, hot glue, anything that you have hanging around if you don't like sewing. You then want to tie a knot and then just, you know, cut off the excess cotton. Once I had the shape done, I then needed to put the face on. I realized I could have put the toy safety eyes on before, but I didn't. So I just used the technique where I cut the backing off and glued them on. This is a technique I like to use if I forget to put my toy safety eyes on or I'm making a really, really thin plush where the kind of backing will stick through. I then took some black fabric paint and just painted on a little nose and a mouth with an even smaller dotting tool. And then I took some pink fabric paint and just painted on a little tongue sticking out of the mouth which I thought was so cute I can't believe it I usually suck at doing little dog things so when I like put this little face on I was like yes it looks like a dog anyway I went ahead and put some pink fabric paint in the insides of the ears as well and once all that had dried I then attached a keychain to the very top 
Once that was done, my little corgi keychain was then complete. You can obviously make this in any size that you may want to. You might want to make this into like a giant pillow, a, like a full size plush, anything like that. But this is just the basics for the small mini keychain. I absolutely love it and love its little face so, so much. I just think it's so cute. So anyway, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.